Hey, 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 guys. What's up? Welcome to Eating with Jay. I'm Jay. We gonna about, we gonna get into all this. Let's pray first. Thank you for this food that I'm not about to receive for the nourishment of my body, for feeding my soul, for Christ's sakes. Amen. 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 How y'all doing? I say, how y'all doing? If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. God damn it, I said welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. Before we get into anything, I need y'all to do some stuff for me. If you like my content, if you like what I put out, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I read and respond to all my comments. Share me out because you know what they say, sharing is caring. Lastly, ha, smash the notification button so that you will be notified each and every time that I drop a video. Jay, what you got? Jay, huh? What you got? I'm about to tell you. Wait. Today is a challenge video. I am celebrating my sister. My gorgeous, beautiful sister. The real Lady Red ASMR. Congratulations on hitting your 1K. This is a 1K challenge at the movies. Yes. All right. Lady Red, first of all, let me just say, well-deserved. And I'm wishing you thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands more subscribers. All right. We're going to get into this. Because this, this is a real cool challenge. So basically, what you got to do, have the food that you like when you go to the movie theaters. Simple, right? Name your top five movies. And then you got to talk about one of your movies. Now, see, this was really hard for me because there were so many movies that I liked. And, I mean, I have to narrow it down to a top five. Um, you know what? I don't know. I, I, I don't know because my tastes change and I may be sitting here and I, and something else may come in my mind and it's, yeah. So I don't know. We're going to see what, we're going to see what movies I say. Um, but first of all, let me tell you, when I was a kid growing up in Chicago, whenever me and mom would go to the movies, the only thing we would buy is like, the candy, and really not even that because we would get that from um, the corner store. Um, never bought nachos. Um, it was it was it was it was crazy and it was fun. So we would bring the hot dogs we make them at home, wrap up in the foil, bring them. Um, the candy we would bring. Now I was extra, so. I wanted like chicken fingers or chicken strips or something. I got them. <laughs> I got them right here. And we would usually get, you know, bring our own beverages, our pops. So the only thing we would really pay for, only thing she paid for was the ticket. So, yeah. We came out like bandits. She came out like a bandit in that. And for Lady Red, you know, I got the Sprite. Got the Sprite on deck. So, I don't have no ice because this has been in the refrigerator for the past three days. So, uh, like she, as, as Lady Red would say, let me take a little sippy sip. Ah. Ooh. Oh, oh. All right. I'm gonna move this candy down. Um, now also, I told you guys, I was looking for a name for my little challenge monkey. I'm gonna reveal his name. Um, I got a, I got his name from a friend of mine, and his new name, ready, is going to be. 
Momo. This is Momo, everybody. And Momo is French for monkey. Hope I'm saying it right. Momo, Mau Mau. I think it's Momo. So that's his name. Momo. Momo the challenge monkey. All right. Behave. Don't be starting nothing. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. I'm going to pour my cheese over my nachos. out the way mm. I may be needing more mm. mm -hmm. got me some chicken strips yep fry me homemade fried chicken strips right here like I said mom would have all this stuff and little pieces of aluminum foil in her purse or in her bag. Oh man, all right. Whew. Let me eat, let me take a couple bites and then I'm gonna get into the movie, the movies. So on my hot dog, I got mustard and sauerkraut. Now, going to put Chicago, you never, 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 ever put ketchup on a hot dog. You just don't do that. Uh, just don't do it. All right. Mm. Mm. So how y'all doing today? How's it going? The, mm, the weekend is upon us. I don't know about y'all, but did the summer go by fast for you? Because I can't believe we're already, we're about to be in September pretty soon. Yeah, I was hungry. I ate this up all quick. I was hungry. Okay. So, let's get into it. My top movies. A Christmas Story. Love me some Christmas story. Ralphie. He wanted that Red Ryder BB gun. Now, everybody told him the same thing. You're going to shoot your eye out. And guess what? When he got it for Christmas, he went outside. What'd he do? Damn near shot his eye out. I hollered. Next movie. Never ending story. Oh. Saw that in Chicago with my mom. I don't it was like a whole like fantasy movie. Took me out. Um Especially, especially when the horse died. Oh, I was done. I was done. My mother was like, you okay? I was like, no, the horse died. 
She was like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oops, sorry for my hands, y'all. Um, another one of my favorite movies. White Christmas. I know. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. Um, Bing Crosby, Danny Kay, Rosemary Clooney. Um, I just love that movie. I just love the music in it. The dancing, singing. Um, my next movie is going to be Rant. A little gnat in here. Uh. Is uh, Rent. With the original cast, except for two people. Michelle Rodriguez. No, I'm sorry. Not Michelle Rodriguez. Rosario Dawson. And... Uh. I can't remember the other lady's name. But other than that, everybody who was in the Rent original Broadway play was in the Rent movie. And, I mean, if you haven't seen Rent, come on now. Come on. Like, seriously. Now, next movie. And this is my number one choice of all time. Um... I don't know if it's going to count as one movie or if it's going to count as, let me see, it was one, two, that's four. Um, the Hunger Games series. I loved, loved, loved the Hunger Games series. Um, the first one, when when they were doing the reaping, and um, Katniss, um, Sister Prue, first time her name is being put in the, re in, the in the bowl, and she gets called. And Katniss decides to volunteer as tribute for her sister. It took me out. Now, that whole movie. got me thinking what if that shit actually happened like what if a group of people got together higher up people got together and said we're going to separate this country into different sections and this is, a, this is what we're going to start doing. That movie made me think, seriously long and hard because I'm like that shit could actually happen it could and I don't know what the hell we would do I have no idea Mm. 
So, those are my top movies. Now, there were some that came close to making it. Got edged out by other movies. Lion King is one. Um, let me see what else. I'm sorry, guys. I, I know I'm saying um a lot. I'm just really tired and I can't even think straight right now. What was I saying? I'm sorry. I just zoned out for a minute. Um, Lion King. Tu Wong Fu. Movie was hilarious. That was hilarious. Grease. I know every song from Grease. Um, let's see what else? Soul Plane. Fridays, Friday movies. Maybe if it was like a top ten, <laughs> I would have got all. I would have got them all in. Hmm. Mm. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been so sleepy, so tired, you barely keep your eyes open? I'm sorry, I'm following this little gnat, fly, whatever it is. Mm. Guys, I'm really sorry, I can't even think straight. Lady Red, please forgive me for this. I'm I'm so sorry, but I want to I want to get your video out. Mm. I want to get your challenges out. Uh. Mm. Anybody I got any mm. Anybody got any plans for the weekend? What y'all gonna be doing? Going anywhere? Or are you gonna be like me and just stay home? Cause I ain't gonna shit. I ain't doing not a damn thing. There, you know what? I just thought about something that I do want to talk to you guys about. Um, I need your opinion on something. So. I put out a video the other day. It was a collab video for our 300, 300 subscribers that I did with the um, Eating With Swag and Gay Lives Matter fam. The Dress Your Nest Ramen Noodle Challenge. Now, that video, oh, that video was crazy. It was a mess, okay? 
Number one, as soon as the video uploaded, within maybe five minutes, I'm getting messages. Hey, in your premiere and da da da. And I'm like, how the hell are you in the premiere? And the video doesn't start until 7.30. Sure enough, looked at it, went to my YouTube studio, and, okay, it says 7.30 a.m. Okay, let me, let me change it. It would not let me change it, and I couldn't figure it out. I was there five minutes trying to change it. So I actually looked at it, and it said premiering, not premieres. Meaning, it's actually happening now. I was like, oh, damn. Mistake number one. I fucked up the time. The whole night, I was just like, oh, God. Then, in the midst of the video, I was I was like, I was feeling good. You know, everything was flowing. And I said that Rebecca was a member of Gay Lives Matter fam. Rebecca is the wife of Ebony on Eating With Swag. State number two. I'm like, oh, fuck. And I didn't even realize that one until it was Ebony that said it. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, so I said to myself, that, okay, you know what? I'm going to put out a video, um, you know, just a little funny video that said, you know, I had my head up my ass doing this video. So I did put the video out, you know, comments was like, don't worry about it. It happens and it's, uh, it's going to happen again. Don't sweat it. You know, nothing, nothing negative. Until I got one particular comment. That said, I don't remember how it was phrased, but I'm just so I'm gonna paraphrase it. Um, do you always curse that much in your videos? And your food, you all know, you always sit too close to the camera. Mind you, I'm leaning in. I'm leaning in. This is what you do when you are engaging into conversation with someone, especially people that you're interested in. You lean in. So, no, my food is not on my chin. As you can see, there is space. Here's me. Here's my food. About that much space between us. Um... Then they said, do you, you know, do you always curse so much? And then I was told that if um, my friends will probably forgive me, you know, if I didn't curse so much. Okay. So I was like, I was nice. And I didn't even curse. So... basically said yes I curse oh and they made sure that they said not trying to be shady or no shade however it was said so you know when you say no shade you about to be shady um so basically I just said yes I curse a lot my family curses a lot. My mama curses a lot, so I got it honestly. Um, if the way I sit too close to the camera and me cursing offends you so much, please feel free to go watch someone else. You don't have to watch me. I'm not going to be hurt. I'm not going to be upset. Um... That's, I said that, but I, you know, it was some of the words. So then they left the comment. 
Um, well, thank you for your permission. Oh, okay. No problem. And I noticed that my subscriber count went down. Minus one. Oh, okay. I was laughing because I thought it was funny. Um, so, you have a problem with me sitting close to the camera. And the thing was, in the, the video that they left this comment on, I was laying in my bed. I wasn't even eating. So, my face was right up in the camera. Yes, it was. So, oh, and I also said, when you say the words, no shade, you're basically saying that you're about to be shady low-key, but you want to make it sound like what you're saying is meaningful and productive or proactive or, you know, whatever. I really didn't care. Because I was like, I don't know you. So, it's not like with somebody I know who I had a rapport relationship with. It's just somebody who sent the comment. I thought it was funny. And now you know I can respond to you and didn't even curse at you. Not one word, not one full little word came out of my mouth. Starting to get full. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I wanted to share that because I thought it was interesting. Mm. With the M and M's. Mm. Had them in the freezer because I wanted them to melt. So, but they kind of melted anyway since I took them out the freezer. Y'all, this up on my hand. Mm. The other, other kind of candy I got rompers. Love rompers. Mm. I'm full. I'm tired. And I'm sleepy. guys once again lady red congratulations 
on your 1,000 subscriber milestone. You're going to have many more, trust me. Trust me, I see you getting a YouTube. I see you getting a YouTube plaque. I see it. All right, fam. You know what I'm going to do? I'm about to call it. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. There you go. All right. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Most importantly, love each other. Take care of each other. Until we see each other again. Until we in front of some more yummy goodness. Peace.